It is time for the first of our two semifinal attractions in the middleweight qualification tourney. Dustin Jacoby. The word no is not in his vocabulary. He welcomes Ariel Smash Sepulveda to the glory ring tonight. And Dustin J Jacoby is four years the junior of Ariel Sepulveda, and he does have twice the number of fights, but a large number of those fights are losses, and that could cause an erosion in the trademark confidence of Jacoby Sepulveda will want to capitalize on that steal of the moment. And the rules tonight. During this semi-final matchup, three three-minute rounds. Three judges seated at ringside. Scoring using the 10-point must system. The winner of each round receives 10 points. The opponent, nine or less, three judges. Scoring no standing eight count, no elbows, throws, or sweeps. A doctor or referee can stop the fight. Let's get it back to Tim Hughes for the official introductions as we kick off Glory 23, Las Vegas. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this middleweight semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing, his young professional record. Four wins with one loss, he'll make his glory debut in Las Vegas tonight. Standing six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at fight time and at an even 186 pounds, 84.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of New York, New York, USA. Here is Ariel the Smash Sepulveda. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a Road to Glory tournament winner. His record, four wins with six losses, but three of those wins coming by knockout. At six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at an even 187 pounds, 84.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Aurora, Colorado, he is Dustin the Hanyak Jacoby. Your referee for this bout is Mark Smith. The third man in the ring is Mark Smith. Sepulveda, born in the Dominican Republic. Family moved to the United States at the age of 12. Played minor league baseball as a center fielder in the Houston Astros organization in single A. Dustin Jacoby, hey, if you give him enough time to make it to a fight, he will accept under the harshest right, of conditions. Right. Fight on. Bell in round one. And again, Stephen, strategy, an important factor, knowing that a win here only sets you up for another fight later tonight in order to move ahead and advance to the middleweight contender turning in a possible shot at the championship. Yeah, the, the theory is you want to get in and out of there quickly and try and knock the guy out. But if the guy's a good fighter, then you're going to leave yourself open to get knocked out. Jacoby in the white gloves, Sepulveda in the black gloves. What I'm seeing right now already from Jacoby is that all the experiences he's had, wins or losses, he's becoming a better fighter, better ring savvy. He's starting to set up the low kick. That there's a jab there. Everything's working in combination. Glory matchmaker Core Hammers told us that Jacoby was thrown in at the deep end after winning the Road to Glory tournament. He has faced a murderer's row, so this tournament is a chance for him to fight at a, quote, more reasonable level. Of course, Sepulveda would like to, uh, well, make a smashing debut here in Glory. Sepulveda is probably going to end up making that smashing debut by rolling. Because the fight, a technical fight, he just got oh, rocked there. Just got rocked with a combination of punches by Jacoby. Working the jab, misses with the sweeping right hand, looking to close the distance. Sepulveda now fighting off the That's ropes. The postman, Coming up on the midpoint of the first round, not wasting any time to go toe to toe. Smart move there by Dustin Jacoby to not use everything in the kitchen sink, but to back off a little bit, realizing that your opponent is not ready to go out. When Sepulveda was released by the Houston Astros organization, he became depressed, blew up to 260 pounds. It was fighting, kickboxing, that he took up to lose weight, but now hoping to make it a lucrative career. Four and one coming into this fight tonight, but almost getting tagged with that chopping right hand from Dustin Jacoby. Dustin Jacoby is being first, and that's why he's winning the round so far. Jacoby, a mixed martial arts veteran who's competed in the UFC and a Bellator. No. There he slips. 
looking to snap fight. a fourth fight losing streak. But again, Stephen, it's it's amazing the stories that he's told us and how Stop. certain fights came about. Literally, just enough fight. time to make it to the arena. You want the fight, Jacoby? Yeah, I'll fight. No post scenario. Yeah, that sounds good around the campfire sometimes if you get the win, but if you don't. You're right. Only so many chances. That's right. And now Sepulveda working the body with a left hook to the liver. Sepulveda is dangerous with that left hook, and, and uh, Jacoby knows it. And there's that jab in the knee. Sepulveda rattled late in round one, and they are swinging for the fences. And the bell rings. Sepulveda goes down with his bell rung. It's Dustin Jacoby smashing Ariel the smash Sepulveda. I thought I heard the bell, but I'm being told that the fight is stopped with just one second left in the round. So impressive by Dustin Jacoby. I mean, I was talking about Sepulveda's left hook, then all of a sudden Jacoby turned the tide with his left hook. Stay there for me for now. That was. Definitely Dustin Jacoby's best performance thus far that I've seen. And here it is. Big left hook. How he stayed up after that punch is beyond me. They got the brawl. A lot of those getting slipped. Basically, it was a grazing shot, but I think it was an accumulation. So the first semifinal lasted about as long as a Las Vegas drive through marriage. Dustin Jacoby draws first blood in the middleweight qualification tournament. Dustin Jacoby impressed the hell out of me with that performance. It's, it's like I said, a compilation of all the good, bad, and ugly that he's gone through since he's become a kickboxer came into fruition in that fight. He put everything together. Knees, punches, kicks, but it was the left hook that set it up. Mark Montoya in his corner, representing Factory X Muay Thai, where he trains alongside Chris Camozzi, a former UFC opponent turned friend. Speaking of friends, those guys had nothing but good things to, you know, good vibes there by the winner and the loser no bad blood after the bell so he snaps a four fight losing streak you can almost see the relief written all over his face comes in puts it together and stops Ariel the smash Sepulveda in scintillating fashion with just one tick of the clock left yeah. in that first frame when you've got a four fight losing streak yeah <laughs> You're starting to think, am I in the right line of work? I mean, things like that infect your brain. But he's very, very confident, constantly. I'm telling you, Jacoby did everything right from that arcing right hand. The jab was on Mark. He kept pushing forward, slipping back every time Sepulveda threw a bomb at him. Dustin Jacoby, everything came together in this fight. He's going to go back and watch this and probably gonna basically pat himself on the back. This this finish right there, the grazing shot, Sepulveda was definitely done. Hard night for that man, but he lost to the better man. Go back to the drawing board. Sepulveda doesn't have that many kickboxing fights, so I think he's going to be fine. He told us that in his mind, he knows he is much better than his sub-500 record. And yeah, he was chomping at the bit to get in there and get a win. And he gets a big victory here tonight as he opens the glory 23 Las Vegas middleweight qualification tournament with a big victory over the debuting Ariel the Smash Sepulveda.
Back here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the joint is jumping after that. Fantastic finish by Dustin Jacoby. Oh, this was all Dustin Jacoby. Everything from the punches, he landed over double the amount of punches, the kicks, everything, the knees too. He basically blew Ariel Sepulveda out of the water in this fight. And let's go back to the end of the fight and let's listen in. Oh, it was that. It was almost a half hook, half jab. But he came through. He knew he, he had him hurt. He knew the end was near. And that right hand, oh, what a good shot. You know, I thought I, I'd heard the bell earlier, Stop. but uh, I'm used to hearing things in my head. And uh, good job there by the referee stopping the fight with just a second left. Congratulations to Factory X Muay Thai representative Dustin, the Hanyak Jacoby. Let's go to Tim Hughes to make it official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an end with an official time of 2 minutes, 59 seconds of that first round and ends by way of knockout for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Dustin Jacoby. Well, the Honyak is a word used to describe a nonconformist, a rebel without a cause. Well, he, he definitely has a cause here tonight. Dustin Jacoby wanting to, to win this tournament and reverse his fortunes in the glory ring.